Have you ever felt that your low back feels compressed? It's tight, it's tender, it doesn't move so well. In this video, I'm gonna show you my five best low back decompression stretches or decompression exercises that you can do in the comfort of your own home to get instant relief. Providing you with pain relief strategies and wellness solutions for modern day living. Thanks for tuning in again, and if you're new to the channel, and you like the content that I'm putting out, please show some support by hitting the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you'll be informed when I upload a new video. My name is Dr. John Saunders. I'm a chiropractor in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. I've been in practice for 18 years seeing patients with chronic spinal related health conditions. One thing is certain, most of us in our lifetime will experience low back pain. Part of the reason that most people will experience some type of low back pain in their lives is because our low backs take a beating. We sit more than we've ever sat. We don't move enough. Our core muscles that support our pelvis and our lower back, they've weakened over time. And all of this contributes to our spines feeling like they're being compressed. Gravity is constantly working on us, whether we're sitting, standing, or moving, and there's a constant compression in our lumbar spines. So what does this do? There are many tissues that can become irritated from long-term compression, predominantly our lumbar spine discs. They are responsible for allowing us to move, to provide shock absorbing capabilities, and to hold the proper posture in our lower back. When we look at the spine from the side, we want a nice smooth curve in our spine. We want each of these bones to move normally, and we want the muscles to support our spine and fire appropriately when we move. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can decompress your lower back or do some self-traction to your lower back in the comfort of your own home. Before I show you my five best low back decompression exercises or stretches, I want to discuss a few times these might not be appropriate. If you know you have a condition, a spinal condition such as degenerative disc disease, a lumbar disc bulge or herniation, spinal stenosis, if you've had a history of low back surgery or any spinal surgery or scoliosis, some or all of these may not be appropriate for you. So please check with your spinal health provider before attempting any of these decompression stretches. So the first decompression stretch I'm gonna show you is a very simple one. We're gonna start off simple and we're gonna move up slowly and progress through these decompression stretches and exercises. The very first one, we're going to lie on our back with our legs on the couch. So we're gonna get into this position. Our legs are comfortable on a bench, a couch. If you are using the towel, then basically you wanna put it in the small of your back and you wanna let your back kind of flatten out. And all you're gonna do is deep breaths and breathe and just relax. And you're going to feel the lower back as it stretches down. And for me, actually, I'm gonna take this towel out so I can get a better stretch. We're gonna breathe in and out slowly. And as we breathe out, we're gonna tuck our pelvis to allow our back flatten out. So what that's doing, it's stretching the facet joints or the back of the spine. You're going to hold this position for 15 seconds up to about a minute. Breathe deeply, relaxed, visualize your spine decompressing. It's just a very comfortable position. You can do this two to three sets daily. So deep breath in, and out, as you breathe out, push your spine into the floor gently. And just a reminder, if any of these decompression stretches or decompression exercises give you any discomfort, stop immediately and speak to your spinal health provider. For the second decompression stretch for your lumbar spine, we call this the hands to thighs. So very simply, we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna lock our shoulders, and all we're gonna do as we our hands are gonna be on our thighs, and as we just slowly squat down, we're going to traction our upper body from our lower body. You wanna drive your hips back or your glutes back, almost like you're sitting down. And you'll go to a point right there where you'll start to feel your lumbar spine become decompressed or stretched. If you're not feeling it, then for some of you, you might want to tuck your pelvis under a bit and that might be what you need to feel the stretch 
And for others, again, you might want to extend your lower back to stretch out the front part of the low back. And as I say, you're going to sit in this position, visualizing your upper body being traction from your lower body. When you get the right spot, you will feel a fantastic stretch. And then from the front, it's again, just to show you, you're going to lock your shoulders. You're going to sit and lock your elbows and arms until you find the spot that gives you the best stretch. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds, two to three times daily. So for the third lumbar spine decompression, the comfort of your own home, this is going to be a McKenzie stretch. We're going to modify it a bit because we are going to use a towel. This allows us to create a pivot point that I feel you can get a little bit extra stretch. So the first part of this exercise would be a normal McKenzie that's used for sciatica, disc bulges, and herniation. It's a prone extension stretch. And all we're going to do is extend up. For some of you, this in itself might be enough traction for the front of the discs. Others might need to get right up. This can be held for anywhere between 30 and 60 seconds. Using the towel will allow you to get a little bit more precise in the pivot point, but also a little bit deeper decompression stretch. So you want to place the towel in the small of your back and you want to grab the sides and want to come up and you're going to push, extend into that. And right when you hit that, you're going to feel and you might need to adjust it just to get to the point where you feel. See, that is a great spot for me. You can kind of move the towel to where you feel you need the most decompression in your lower back. You can move it up a bit. Feels really good. And again, don't push too hard. These are movements that you really want to work into your range and really go on what you feel. You should feel a great stretch, but there should never be any pain with any of these decompression stretches. The fourth at home lumbar spinal decompression stretch or exercise is called the park bench stretch. This was coined by Dr. Stuart McGill for helping patients open up some space in their lumbar spines for those patients with spinal stenosis. This is still a great decompression stretch for those with or without spinal stenosis, but again, always check with your healthcare practitioner. And this one can be done on a couch or a dining table that's secure, a kitchen counter, or even a desk at your workstation. Just make sure it's secure and it can hold your body weight. You're gonna externally rotate your hands. You're gonna place your palms on the secured surface. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna come up on your toes and you're going to lean and you're gonna lock your shoulders in place so that you're not shrugging. So you're gonna lock your shoulders and you're gonna let the weight of your bottom half just traction your lumbar spine. So you're in a bit of extension here. So this would be very good if you had a disc bulge or herniation. And you can hold this to start off with 15 seconds, but I recommend working up to about 45 to 60 seconds on that hold. So externally rotate, secured surface up on your toes, slightly bend, lean in, your upper body is upright and you're just letting the lower half hang and you'll feel the traction in the lumbar spine. And again, a very controlled, slow movement and come out. I really like this one. And finally, for my fifth lumbar decompression stretch or exercise that you can do in your home, you're going to need a couch or a bed. So for this one, we're going to be prone just at the edge of our pelvis. If you feel the bones at the top of your hips, you want those bones to be at this level or the edge of your couch. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the edge of the couch or bed and place it just above our pelvis. And so we're going to lean in, you're gonna reach forward. And again, we're gonna use the weight of our bottom and our pelvis and we're gonna reach forward and we're gonna let our legs dangle. 
again, you're going to feel this stretch in your lower back very gently. Make sure you're not twisting. You're just letting this sit into the stretch. And when you get up from any of these, you're going to get up very slowly. So again, you can use a couch. You can use the edge of your bed. You want to reach to pull the upper body apart from your lower body while you're using gravity to help pull the lower half to decompress that lumbar spine. So out of each of those five low back decompression stretches, which one did you like the best? Put it in the comments. Ask a question in the comments. I will answer all your questions. And if you like this video, please show some support by giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, but like the content I'm putting out, please hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell to be informed when I upload a future video. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.